guys, what's up? It's Rob from uh, Reading and Reviewed, the Vontron Experience. Doing something a little bit different this time. I know if you guys watched the video, and I think like seven of you guys did, awesome. He did the um, Lithology Brewing, Loyal to the Soil. Um, <clears throat> as you notice in the video, he knows one of the guys in the company, so I decided to do one independent of him as more of a, uh, not that his was biased, but you know, you know someone, so we want to keep this kind of on the up and up. So I'm going to try the Lithology Brewing, Lord to the Soil Indian Pale Ale, <clears throat> probably Indian Pale Ale. Um, if you watched video, we made a, a video earlier this uh, earlier today about the salsas loving on bologna. So if I smell my hands, it's because my hands still not like, smell like bologna. I haven't washed them because it just smells so good. So here we go. It's an Indian Pale Ale, Loyal to the Soil. Uh, quick background: This is like a Long Island beer, and it says Long Island Strong and Lord to the Soil and whatnot. Be honest, that means nothing to me. I'm not from Long Island. I don't like Billy Joel. I really, I mean, I love Lemon Island, Island but the fact that it uh, comes from Long Island means nothing to me. It's going to be all about how it tastes. That being said, the can is very cool. I like the little uh, uh, graphics and the L-I uh, and Y and whatnot. Again, Jeff was born and, braid, uh, born and bred in Long Island. Not me, so where it's from means nothing. But I didn't bother with a cup because if you watch the video, we know it's a clear, uh, clear, it's a lighter beer. There we go. Smells good, especially on my hands with the Lebanon Brewery. So let's give it a whirl, see how it goes. Definitely hoppy. Definitely a hoppy sense to it. Kind of. A little bit citrusy. The last time we did a can, it was the uh, Save the Robots. Jeff hated it. I kind of liked it. I liked almost every beer we had. Kind of the, the beer fan, but this isn't that bad. As a. Um, a little bitter aftertaste, not in a bad way, just in a, like, you know, this is like, we're not kidding around type of flavor, this is just here, beer, the way it's supposed to be, it's it drinks fresh, clean, <sighs> again, um, a little hoppy, <clears throat> not something I want to um, slam down, because the taste, uh, there's definitely a, a taste to it, it's very, um, Trying to get the right word, and it's kind of escaping me, especially with that Jeff to bounce off of. <clears throat> Very earthy, if that makes any sense. You can tell, like, it, it tastes, like, you know when you have, like, a, a difference between a bag salad and a fresh salad, and a fresh salad, like, oh, okay, this is, you can tell it was, like, you know, picked and everything. That's what this kind of tastes like. It tastes newer, you know what I mean? But it's really good, it's a good, uh, good drink of beer. I like it a lot. Mm hmm I've decided if I'm going to review a beer, I'm going to pound the whole beer down. And that's the way we kind of do it. Um, yeah, that's no, good stuff. It's good stuff. Later on tonight, I'm going to be watching Bandersnatch, um, the Black Mirror movie. I've seen all of the uh, Black Mirror shows. Love it. So I'm psyched. This would be a good way to start the uh, the movie. Get me all kind of uh, juiced up for it. Uh, again, I like the uh, the little uh, hand holding the, uh, the hop. Kind of cool, and in fact, loyal to the soil. I like rhymes. Rhymes are always fun, so that was good, good stuff there. Mm. Ah, so there we go. It's not bad. It's not bad at all on the um, the Buddha meter. I'm gonna give it a solid happy face because um, again, I'm burping a lot. I was down in the kitchen eating a bunch of uh, more Lebanon bologna, so I'm kind of full of that. We deep fried it, not deep fried, sorry, we air fried it, and it was delicious. Jeff was 100% right on that. Tomorrow, if I wake up early enough, um, I'm going to make a, make it with eggs and cheese, and it's going to be awesome. Oh. Again, like we say in every video, if you like it, subscribe. Let us know what you think. If you have any other suggestions, I keep burping. I'm pounding this down. Hold on. Ah, that's good, good stuff. <sighs> kind of reminds me of a beer I had tailgating. I don't remember which one I had, but it was good. It's this kind of um, neutral beer. It's one of those beers, the more you drink it, the more you like the taste. The first time, it's like, oh, it's bitter. Had that bitter beer face type thing going on. That's gone away now. That's not going away. And it's just one of those beers that kind of quench your thirst, too. You certain ones you drink, and you like it's nothing. This definitely has a very strong taste. Not a bad taste. Very strong, you know it's here, you know. I like the can too, it's kinda kinda cool looking. 
most of the beer cans nowadays are cool. And then what's nice is the pint. So you get a little bit bigger beer. So. I already sucked up liquid measurements anyway. All I know is um, it's 63 gallons to a hogshead. If you get the back of a marble covered notebook, it breaks it all down. So I can't tell you what's bigger, a pint or a quart. Don't really care. I think pints are bigger. You know, from The Hobbit, when they're in the, uh, the Prance of Ponies. Ooh, it comes in pints. So, as you know, my mug here, which I'm not using. Oh, you know, I can do this. Here we go, my mug from Prance of Pony. Boom, like that, because I'm like washing it out. And you guys have already seen this beer, but it's my mug from the Prancing Pony. This is probably, I guess, a quart cup. Pint, there we go. Some movie science for you. It's going to be difficult to do this, let's see. Hmm. Love this cup. Use it on a... Last video we did. Eventually, hopefully next weekend we could do the uh, the big Omega Gang three pack that we've had for a while. It's hard for us to get together, especially at uh, nighttime with all the things going on with the kids. But yeah, so we'll get more reviews out with that. Uh, again, I think we're up to like almost, almost double digit subscribers. So that's good stuff. Please uh, contact the Instagram and the Facebook and all the other crap Jeff does. That I just show up and drink the beer and talk about it. <laughs> Pardon me, I was going. It seems different. I'm trying to use my phone and my uh, selfie thing's all messed up because nobody wants to see this anyway. So I don't know if I'm in focus or not. It is what it is. We tried to do the computer. It was rough for Jeff to put it on the internet. So I'm trying it this way. So we'll see how that works. Um, yeah, that's really about it. Laurel to the soil. Like I said, Buddha beer rating. Smiley face. Like happy, happy smiley face as opposed to just gen uh, mildly happy. Um, if I had another one of these, as I'm watching the movie, I would drink it. This is something more you don't want to slam, but drink. It is poundable, but I've noticed with me, at least my taste anyway, drink a little bit of it, and you want a little bit of time. But of course, you finish the whole freaking can. And there she goes. All right. So, I don't know if Jeff zoomed in on us, the Laurel to the Soil um, logo. There we go. Kind of cool. Right now, I'm using the reflection from my... Um, computer to see what the hell's going on there. So again, I'm Rob from Rated and Reviewed at the Vontron Experience. Having a loyal to the soil. Jeff was right. I don't know if I'd eat this with an, he said an elk burger. I don't know what that is. If you have like a, maybe a cheeseburger, a bacon cheeseburger, hell yeah, definitely a, a good food pairing beer because it's strong enough to stand its own with the food, but kind of compliment it, even if you're eating elk. I think he did say elk. I actually watched the video. I watched it once, and it was it, he piqued my interest. But uh, maybe, maybe we'll view elk burgers. I don't know what else he could have said. Very weird. <laughs> Fucking elk. All right. Well, I'm gonna sign off now. I'm gonna put this crap away and watch the movie. And um, oh, real quick, I'm not gonna review the movie because. Um, there's a ton of channels that do that. I And when it comes to movies, I don't listen to people's opinions. I'll say, know them. Like, I don't know what you like. You don't know what my tastes are. So, you know, I liked uh, The Last Jedi. I think Ray's boobies could be bigger. That was my main complaint. I wish Luke knocked over all the uh, gorilla walkers. Other people hated it. Other people loved it. So, with any of the movies, watch for yourself. Decide for yourself. I will say if I like it or not in another video. And I definitely suggest if you like The Twilight Zone, check out Black Mirror. If you don't like The Twilight Zone, check out Black Mirror anyway. If you don't like it, eh, whatever, there's other things on there. Pretty soon The Punisher's coming back on. I think Jeff kind of looks like him when he has the beard. Except The Punisher's all jacked and all crazy and whatnot. Jeff is just like, hey, come on in, have a beer. So they're kind of opposite that way. All right, cool. I'll talk to you guys later. Subscribe and like and all that shit.